All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Third day of the Chill Open 2018. We've got three big matches for you today. We've got the debut of Ducks eating greens really fast. They're going to play a double header today against first the blue team, and then we'll be going up against the team that is sponsored by Van Hayes. And then in our final match, Van Hayes will return to face off against my chemical throwmats. We got three games all in a row. Should be a fun time. And uh, so with me today, I've got Monocro and Shikami on the commentary. How are you guys doing today? Hello. I'm, all right. I'm doing pretty well. High energy. Yeah. Ready for this match. I'm super excited to see Poppy on this team. I am not high energy, but I'm excited to see it anyway. All right, so we are getting everyone into the game, getting it set up. And uh, looks like we've got all the players in the lobby. So just a few seconds we're gonna get started as soon as the teams are ready monica do you want to uh, talk with me a bit about the compositions in the play styles of these teams yeah so the most interesting thing is that we have a sub here on duck seeding greens um scare 966 i think his name is um, is not available right now. So we're putting in Jacques Monsieur of the No Payload for Old Men in his place. And I believe he's going to be there off today. And, Interesting. Yeah. And as for Blue Team, they put up a really good showing actually yesterday against My Chemical Throwmats. They, their not tanks biased. are very, sorry? We're not biased at all. Yeah. I mean, they they ultimately couldn't bring it home because my chemical throwmats, as I'm sure Shikami will agree, is just simply too good. But simply the best team. Their no bias whatsoever. Was, their pharmacy was very solid. Their tank line was very strong, and I think they'll have a good bounce back today. I definitely think that as long as Eraser Brains, Internet, and Computer aren't trying to kill him, uh, his hits gameplay is legitimately concerning uh, to play against. I think if they focus on keeping their supports alive. Tegan didn't die too much during yesterday's matches, but there were a few unfortunate backline picks. They really pulled them apart. As long as they can do that, I think they'll have a good time. On the other hand, Ducks eating greens. Got Poplio, well-known Genji man. Barty, who I've personally witnessed destroy entire teams as Tracer. You know much about the rest of the uh, players on the team? Uh, two questions oh. at Mycelia. Their two lowest level players are both, uh, I would say, definitely better than their SR suggests. I've liked playing with Mycelia in in houses for a long time because he's gotten significantly better um, since they started. And two questions from what relatively little I've seen is way better than bronze. So, All right, so we are. Going to get started here. Our first map is going to be Lijiang Tower, as Lijang chosen Tower. by the amazing Jeff Kaplan bot. Always bringing us joy. So we will be heading on to Lijiang Gardens as our uh, first yeah. map. I was I about think... to wonder. Sorry, go on. No worries. Um, I... This is, I think, going to be a very interesting first map. Hyphenate, uh, definitely a fair main. Um, is going to be playing into likely Racer Brain on Widow. I think he's going to stick with that pick. Ah, man. What were you, what were you going to say? I was curious to see what Poplio was going to play because I believe he was looking to play Zarya for them. But with the last minute changes of putting Jock in, it looks like he's going to be on that off support as Zinyata starting out here. So we'll see how he does on that. I've definitely seen him have very strong Zinyata games playing with him. Something Many DPS can. players are pretty competent in the other. What we've seen out of Overwatch League is how important getting all that damage from the Zenyatta can be. 
like having a third damage player. It's it's all about focusing those Discord targets and keeping those Discord targets consistent. Five, four, three. All right, it looks like Barty's gonna mirror and also be round one. Capture the objective. Relatively mirror teams. The only difference mostly being the Zen for the Lucian and the ducks running a Zarya instead. Oh. Whoa, I, oh no, I, it goes down into the pit. Well, despite that, they're still up. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Still, the fight could be anyone's. Hopefully, is on the back of the point completely alone. He's gonna get collapsed on. It's like, the blue team are standing on the point. They're gonna be able to take it first, get that first percentage. Picking up and the racer brain on the widow, able to get these picks. Takes out three in a row. Two headshots. Great job, racer brain. Just getting that cleanup and getting close to that infrasight already. That was really well played from Blue Team. They had they got uh, two people picked right at the beginning, but they just kind of turtled on the point and um, duck seating Rick Greens weren't really able to find an in. On the Poplio tried, but he just got picked off. So, Fortunately, uh, when he made the flank around with his team, he didn't quite get the support he needed. Spooky Nun is going to pick up Jock and push the rest of the. Uh, I keep wanting to say the blue team, but that's green team. You got red oh, team, which is blue team. I'm not donut. convinced at all that they can keep going bridge here. They just have so much poop on blue team between the Lucio, the Thara, the Diva, even the Reinhardt a little bit. Eraser Brain so far has been outperforming Barty on the way. That could just be due to the nature of the engagements, but. So, Barty gonna pop the Infrasight. Eraser Brain about to have it as well. Both teams gonna have those wall hacks up. Now it's about jockeying for position. Question is oh, Eraser Brain does get the kill on the Barty. Gonna be res though. Who's going to be full 6v6? Hyphenated's just trying to shell. Pops it up to the barrage, but gets taken out. Still 6v5. Oh, donut. Oh, a big self destruct earth shatter combo. Gets up the kill on the Bardi. And he does a great like... job of peeling for their, uh, their supports and a racer break. Jock was coming in from behind. It was an excellent tank play from Spooky Donut. Kills coming through. That's a big grab if anyone's there, but I don't think there is. No one really around to capitalize on that graviton. Poplio comes in with the transcendence just to make Gigantic Earth Shatter. Oh, Hype Made with the Barrage picks up the mech and the Lucio. So this is definitely winnable for Ducks Eating Greens. Just Spooky Donut left on the point. Oh, but Karasu getting the kill. Still. Hyphenated on the point, Eraser Brain trying to get that snipe, but getting hunted down by ah, Jock. What is this? What are we watching? Gotta get Eraser Brain off of this point. Hutter coming back in with the two Stalls. supports. The Widowmaker stalls for long enough to hold the rest of the tanks onto the point. The this blue team's back in. Absolutely unacceptable rise. for Widowmaker to stand on the point for any reason. And look at this. Blue team Absolutely. manages to come through and hold that 99 what, what, what are your thoughts on how that went? I think, I think one of the early storylines that are coming out here is Karasu on this Farah. He's a he's a diamond Moira, basically a Moira one-trick, but she's been playing this Farah, and she's been playing really, really well um, in both games they've played so far. Far, as soon as we saw that far come out yesterday on King's Row, really changed the Five, the dynamic four, of the game. There was really no answer to it. Two, one. Now, Me, uh, two, laying out their damage again. Sorry to interrupt, McCree. Go ahead. Two big plays really came out to me in the, the last fight. Uh, hyphenated being able to like clutch the uh, the fight back, and then Racer Brain clutching the fight back again. Barty gets a big pick to open up the game here. Takes out a race brain. Race brain gonna swap to the widow to counter that. But it's still a six on five on the point. 
Blue team taking the position. Jock and Hype they did in the contest. They're not eliminating any percentage. Racer Brain once again getting the kills on this Two widow. Quick picks. Much Despite better. the pick on the. Seen some really good widow play from a racer brain today. Really looking a lot better. And if he plays like this, it's gonna be hard for them to. As I nice say that, stickers. Party gets the kill. Nice. Party, of course, very proficient on the widow himself. That's two times they've opened up the fight with the pick on the racer brain. And yet, that blue team actually has the point. They're, having, they're not pushing as aggressively as they might be needing to. Questions on that Reinhardt. Oh, Hutter shatters, but nothing comes with it. Graviton. Pick onto the Mercy. Poplio. Poplio with that Gallic gun cleaning him up. It looks like Duck Seed and Green's finally going to be able to get control of the point. Good team play by Poplio here. I have had several disagreements with Poplio in the past about how fun Moira is to play. And I think that she is very fun, so you draw your own conclusions about what that means. But he is running that that Laura here because he thinks it's the best pick for his team. Right, blue team already coming back in, barreling right down the middle. Party gets Arthur's two amazing Party takes out the far mercy by himself. But ducks and greens. Fire is down herself. Racer Rain picks her up from the back. She's gonna oh, get the red. Gonna be res. They're gonna have to back up, and Spooky Donut gets D Max as well. He trades his life for him. That's still a good trade because they don't have that tank there. They're gonna have to wait before they can engage. Party is going to come back here and get that position. Cutter is gonna go down as well. Two, one tank's down for each team. It's down to no. five. Racer Brain's caught out in the open. Hyphenated picks up the kill. And importantly, Eraser Brain swapped onto that soldier, no longer on the widow, and that means Barty is pretty much uncontested at this range. DPS of Duxie and Greens just destroyed the backline of Blue Team. Really, no one can challenge Barty here. No one He's getting free shots. On my sight. I think I Caster Cased uh, Caster Cursed, even. Oh, look at all the ultimates coming online for both teams. This is going to be one fight here. If Duck Seed and Greens can hold this, they're going to tie it up. Drop 3 comes out. Oh, crap's done. Hunter with an excellent oh, counter shot. Lands the Parasu, two rocket barrages. Oh, the point is actually going to be flipped. While everyone was fighting, but this should, this should not be a difficult retake, though. The kills are coming out. Self destruct is blocked. Tanks are still on the point here, though. It looks like it is, Monica. Karasu. Grant, granted, this happened, this happened in the last round, too. Duxy and finally, Duxy and Dreams able to get stabilized, get back on the point, and that should be the round right here. They do it that time. That time they were able to put the last nail in the coffin, which they were not able to do on round one. I'm seeing a lot of really good evolution as a player and improvement out of two questions specifically. I remember the one time that I scrimmed with him, he seemed very binary in his Reinhardt playstyle. He was like very, either very passive, like he had a shield up, he was protecting his team, just kind of standing there, or he was a swinging and swinging and swinging. And he didn't like really mix the two at all but i'm seeing a lot more of a mix of the two in this game here like he's weaving in hammer swings and fire strikes with his ryan barrier which is what you want to see out of your reinhardt to make space so we're doing see... a great job of protecting his backline too mycelia pretty much has only died from some hit scan wow. stuff and cleanup mm -hmm. see both teams interestingly gonna run the farah on the control center here not Often this, seen. this is such a small enclosed map. This is actually a pick that has seen more play at the pro level lately. Um, teams really like the the high walls that Farah has access to here, out on the balcony and in the white room up the stairs. Duck City Green splits up their team into two different kind of groups. Spooky Donut does get taken out. 
Barty gets the snipe onto Tegon. Barty's got three whole picks. Bill's getting traded here. Not enough, though. Jock is alive, but three members on the point. Gonna push him back. And blue team are going to stabilize on the point, get that percentage taken down. An absolutely heroic Widowmaker player out of Barty. Questions gets knocked down to the point. No one can hide. See how long he can hold up there. Playing around that center pillar. Both Reinhardt's. Oh, flashbang from Eraser Brain. Takes out two questions. And Rev comes in, but it's a little late and countered by the sound barrier. Well, not going to be able to find any kills. Hunter's Earth Shatter actually killed Jock from the damage as they got grabbed. Now, no Graviton, but two questions does have that Earth Shatter. Hutter does not. That could be important. You gotta be really careful about the DPS DPS ult. It's so easy to flank with both of them. Ross is looking for it right oh, now. Oh, Barty gets Tegon again. But, oh, Rocket Barrage. Two questions has to back up. Great job from Deadeye. So Rocket Barrage. Team. That Rocket Barrage took down the Reinhardt shield and the Deadeye to follow it up. Ducks it's, just it's, chipped away from them from outside the point. Yeah. They just it's hung not, out. It's not an alt combo that you really think of at all, but Karasu's rocket barrage knocked down that Rhine barrier for the high noon to come through, and they didn't win the fight, but that was kind of funny. It was pretty interesting. All right, the Valkyrie, the only ultimate available for blue team. They're going to use it right here, countered by the counter Valkyrie. Tank lines bullying for... Hyphen has just been pouring damage into Hutter to not much effect. Oh, Hyphen here drops the barrage. Gonna take out Hutter, take out T-Gun. And that's gonna be a clean fight for Ducks Eating Greens. Now up to about 40%. They're gonna look to get aggressive and stop Blue Team from even getting in this door. Karen needs to not pick here. This could be super bad if she dies. Or he dies. Yep. Sorry, Sorry. Sorry. I am like. Oh. oh, cool. Well, yeah. so you know, I was thinking about the character. Oh, I. Kara is also a team. Anyway, I think it gets the pick. Soundberry is going to come out from love, but the kill's still coming through. Karasu will get Barty, but it's going to be difficult. It's just Karasu against the world here. We're gonna have to retreat. Ducks the Eating Greens. They're just to get a good Sagger on the carry. I think, I think Ducks Eating Greens could play a lot more up. What me and Sakami did against this comp yesterday is we played right at the doorway, so Karasu could not get in as the Farah. And we so also had a very, she was very neutralized, but they are kind of letting her in here. All right. I think they're the Earth blocked by two questions. But the kill's starting to come in from blue team. Hyphenator drops the barrage. Oh, counter barrage from Karasu way up in the sky. Barty not able to hit the shot. The point is going to be flipped, but kills did come in. This is going to lead to a retreat, though. Love's careful. No one left that. alive. So we're going to have five people from blue team on the point. Karasu's going to have to hurry up. She wants to make it to the point of time. All right, so we'll be back for this fight. This is gonna be the last fight. Oh, hyphenate gets taken out by a fire strike. That's huge. They're That's gonna force the res it. out. And then he lands an excellent charge onto two questions. Hunter's doing incredible, but now both Reinhardt are falling off the point. Grab onto the point. No Reinhardt around. Spooky Donut gets another kill with the self destruct. This is anyone's fight. Hunter solo shatter onto Mycelia. So work on it, Takes him out. Barty and hyphenate still alive. The three on two here for the duck seating green. Okay. The tanks coming back as well. Yeah. For the third map back. in a row, we're kind of on this stall at 99 now. The racer brain gets taken out by Poplio's Moira, and you're not going to be able to make it back. The duck seating green. Was so short at that point that Eraser brain couldn't get back to point in time. Duck seating greens looking good, but a really close match from both teams there.
God bless Blizzard for giving me a support that consistently gets played with the game. Yeah, Lucio. Yeah, Brigida. Yeah. Not Brigida. God, I wish. Dude. Okay, maybe I'm just a bad Brigida. That's why you got me, bro. That's fair. You gotta get the environmental kills, buddy. That's true. Alright, so ducks eating greens. Getting the win. Eraser Rain is offering ducks eating greens to pick him out, but we'll have to see how that goes as the tournament rules is that the losing team picks them out. That is an interesting maybe, choice. Maybe EB is worried that they're getting inside their own heads a little bit with the maps or something like that. We've never That's seen this. Like uh, we have not seen any team defer the option to pick the map yeah, yet. I so. don't I don't see any reason we should outlaw that. So I mean they can ask what the enemy team wants to play and then pick that map, right? That's not I suppose yeah, I suppose. Oh god. What if they do it? What if they pick? They picked Oasis. I want at least once in this tournament for a team to try to pick the same map that they played in round one. No, I'll kick their ass if they do. It's understandable. It looks like pick coming out of duck seeding greens going to be Oasis. So another King of the Hill map. Another big map for Widowmaker and Farah, which is gonna play into the strengths of Party and Hyphenated. I was very impressed by some of the picks they were getting. They believe in hyphenated on this Farah too, picking the single best Farah map in the entire game. It is indeed Farah's playground. We'll see. Once these teams are ready, we're going to go straight into second match. Ducks eating greens with the 1 0 lead. Blue team trying to come back and tie it up. What do you guys think? We're going to see. I think it seems pretty obvious. We're going to see that far out of hyphenated. Karasu, of course, mm -hmm. performed I, very well on the Farah as well. I think both of these Farahs are so consistent that it's going to come down to the hit scans on both these teams to tip the scales. Both these, uh, Barty and Eraser Brain, have both been doing very well on the Widowmaker killing each other, as well as the Faras and Mercies. So, lots of, uh, lots of good DPS play so far. I like the uh, color coordination out of Dux. Their, uh, all their icons are green. I don't know if that comes through on the stream or not, but I love it. All right. Looks like both teams are ready. We're about to go into Oasis. Ducks eating greens looking to close this match Welcome out right here. The 2-0. Looks like we're going to be starting off on the university. Uh, more of a... Reinhardt Zarya map a lot of times with that kind of enclosed central point. A lot of high walls here. Both teams are hovering the Farah, however, which University isn't even a bad Farah map per se. It's just an average one compared to city center and gardens. 
Racer brain not showing that Widowmaker wants to try that McCree. Well, McCree's we'll see not what bad on this map. Uh, you've got enough cover in the back, and with a decent tank line, Farrah can't really hide if she's in the middle of the point off uh, from the dead eye. This particular map, not a lot of long sight lines, so the Widowmaker not always that effective One on shot. this map. One Racer hit. brain might be going back to the Widow. Barty showing that tracer. Excited to see that. Barty's a very, very confident tracer. It looks like Spooky Donut going back to that Diva and the blue team gonna be running the Brigitte as well. They're, they're the running the Diaz. Mercy Brigitte on that team, which I have strong opinions about, but the strongest one is that it is a very low amount of deals, so you need to win the fight fast with that brick. Hunter's going, going hard. Their tank line's all the way half up into the point. Seeing green front. The Mercy and the Moira, so a lot of healing there. It can be very difficult to heal through that. This is no so kill. important getting out of the point first with this uh, Farah and this Trajit. Really, basically almost uncontested point capture. Racer Brain goes entirely too deep. Kills though, starting to come in from both sides. Too hyphenated as well. Probably oh, just getting the damage out there. I'm at one are immediately blowing up the kill team. Hutter the only one left. The Racer Brain back on the Tracer. But. Just one tracer against the world here, but the point is going to go over to good news. And greens. I am a really big fan in general of on the first fight giving up a few percent on the point in order to establish a better position and team fight for yourself. And that's exactly what Duck Seed and Greens did there. They sacrificed the point for a little bit and they just bided their time. And Hyphenated in particular them. took a really good angle to approach that fight. Garsu is going out like on the flank here. No mercy pocket. Shattered whips. He gets counter sh shattered by Hutter. No one really yeah. looking at Garsu here, just able to lay out these rockets for free. Racer Brain picks up uh, three kills. Damage is coming in. Party like... sticks Hutter and gets love. Garsu with a nice rocket onto Mycelia. Looks like this should be the flip for blue team, but the respawns are starting to come in. They're going to need to clean these up. Arcee takes out Barty, and that will be the flip. But it was not easy. Spooky Donut gets another self-destruct. Man has been on like, fire. It seems like every time he gets at least one. Hey, listen, there was one diva bomb that none of us died to. I can't interrupt. I'm, I'm terrified of Spooky Donut. It's our very own Poco. Alright, so now it's gonna have to be hyphenated to turn to start getting these Farah kills. Let's see. Playing out, gets a hit on the love. Good but job. Displaces the tank line from the back line with that con. Graviton comes out, but only gets two in it. Rocket Barrage from Karasu. This is Hutter's very uh, close. Hunter's Earth Shatters have been so incredibly impactful this round. Celia gets the res on the two questions. She's back and forth, but it looks like Ducks eating greens going to be taking it eventually. They can get Hutter. I don't know. Looks like Eraser Brain's going to back contest? up. Guess not. Oh, tried to contest was not in time. Half second to late. 88%. There, there, was a, there was a time about like until recently where that doc graviton search that only got the mercy and the tracer would have been a good grab because it's well, all that matters is getting mercy in it at the time but these days it just doesn't cut it so both the bars Ooh, a Tigon rocket on really the super rough rocket on the tegon let poplio take him out so that's big no mercy here i think it's utterly uncontested Absolutely no focus going to him. Both of these bars just raining down this damage. This is going back and forth. Ducks eating greens though. Looks like they're coming out on the top end of it. On the 
the back of the finishing car at Bart. You got to go down. Butter the only one left. It's the Earth Shatter, but no one left. Not his most impactful Earth Shatter, I will say. Just out of desperation there. Was that final fight the first one where the point didn't get flipped? May have been. I think it might have been. So, once again, ducks eating greens now, one round away from taking this series. Going on. We might to... avoid gardens here, which is the premier far on that, but city center is another great one as well. City this center. Is, this is a widow map. Oh, here we go. I love this love. There we go. Showing the Doomfist. I hope this is true. Doomfist did so much work the last time we saw them play. It's true. I for one was slapped around. Interesting to. Glad that they're keeping Race Brain on the Widow, despite probably his protestations. Both they teams need to deal with. Yeah. Both teams nice. are liking this Mercy Moira top. Which I I really like when you have a Fara. I'm not convinced of it when you're running a human. Let's right. we'll see if they see. They weren't expecting this Doom Fist. Love getting the punch onto the Reinhardt, but then it extends. Hunter goes up to support. Oh, that rocket punch just pushing them back and letting the blue team stand on the point long enough to flip it. Now Love really... gets the punch onto Jock. Takes him low, takes him out. Barty does Clutch hit the from Barty. Both sort of Christmas and apart. Love hit each other at the same time, and finally, Duck Seeding Green's able to get enough kills in a row. Same exact play is on university they uh, ducks eating greens had the sustain but not the front line so they just trusted their team comp they let blue team get a little time on the point and they eventually came through with that far up barrage or with Dude that far up poke is, i mean is not good at contesting a fair or a widow so he has to be bullying the front line and getting kills on the support yeah otherwise his team's just gonna fall apart because he's not well, out with the damage what Love is doing, looking for that flank Race right now. Up Race another another kill. Big Shatter gets two questions, but that's it. Butter going in aggressively. Counter Shatter from two questions. Rocket Barrage, but Hyphenated goes down immediately. Jock's in the backline, bullying Eraser. Like... Eraser Brain gets another snipe onto Mycelia. And all the kills coming in for Blue Team right now. Like, they're gonna flip it at 50% here for Ducks Eating Greens. And we'll see if Love is able to get that flank they're looking for. Very Sabrina. onto the supports. And for Sight's gonna give him a little bit of an advantage. Not quite enough to get that pick. But Love going up onto the trampoline. Looking to get a big seismic slam here. Get all that damage, get those shields up. That's where Love goes. Goes right, right for Barty, gets the kill with the uppercut, but the grab comes out. Oh, this whole team died! The whole team died without him. Oh no. The Graviton oh. out of Jock, able to get all the kills. It's just a race frame left, he's taken out by the fire strike. And another flip once again, it just keeps going back and forth. Good news, everyone. I think when Love dived into their backline, Ducks and Greens engaged. And just one. Blue team swapping their comp. They have Love on that. They hover the Brigitte, but they go to Zen at the last second. And um, Karasu is back on that fire. This is so good. Let's see. Widow and the Fara for both teams. It's probably going to be down to the Widowmaker to get the first kill. Spooky Donut gets demacked. A bunch of kills coming in for Duxie and Greens. Blue Team's gonna have to get back to spawn quickly. Only about 15 seconds left here. They need to regroup. They can't let Tigon die. Oh no, that's huge! Uh oh. Are they gonna be able to get back in the point? The Duxie and Greens just clear out the series. That's gonna Find be it. Next. No one's gonna be able to touch. Duxie eating Greens get the win.
They get the map, they get the series. Really looking strong there. But such a close match. Both maps, so close. Every round, really. Despite some heroic play from Blitzing, they could not quite close out this fight. The mid fight potential of Ducks and Greens is just incredible. Hyphenating Party picked up so much slack. Yeah, really good adaptation from Ducks Eating Greens, too. They, at the 11th hour, they had to call in Jock Monsieur, who's a high plat, low diamond DPS main. Who I'm not, I'm not saying he doesn't have experience on Zarya, he definitely does. But they had to change up things, presumably without really any practice, putting Poplio on that off support. And they did really well. That is going to be it. Ducks Eating Greens get the big win in their first match. And uh, we're going to have a short break here. Ducks Eating Greens going to play once again against... Uh, who are they playing? They're playing against They're playing Banhase. Sponsored That's by right. Banhase. Who I'm really excited to see because they have looked really, really, really good in scrims and general practice. That team. They also... Yeah, they've done... I've, I played a little bit of like competitive with them. And uh, one one a pile, so not yeah. I I will definitely have things to say about them when that match is about to start. All right. So we're gonna have once again. We're gonna have a short break. We're gonna get the other teams in here and ready, and then we will be back with our second match of the day. So. Talk to you again after the break.